Hey guys, so I'm assuming this is going to be one of my quickest reaction videos. So, it's Wednesday Entertainment again. Um, True Astral Projection Horror Story Animated. What? <laughs> I'm, I, I feel stupid because I feel like I should know what that is, but I'm just going to look it up because I don't. Astral Projection. I've never really heard of that, so. Is the term used in uh, S so something? To describe a willful out of body experience. Oh, so basically, like it's like you're, it's like you're imagining yourself out of your body. I think. Sure, like because it, it says I astral projected and saw something. So maybe. Sure. Okay. So it's only it's only two minutes and thirteen seconds. So this should not be a long video at all. But let's see. When I was in the seventh grade, I heard about astral projection for the first time and thought the idea seemed pretty cool. Who wouldn't want an out-of-body experience and travel around the world? Anyways, I've been attempting it for several months to no avail. I did doubt it wasn't real and eventually stopped attempting it. Then one day on a January, I decided to hit the bed at around 7 p.m. to take a nap, and the next second I began to feel I was being pulled out of my body as a strong vibration feeling overcame me. Similar to that body feeling you get from a strong nicotine rush. I then was floating in my room and felt a presence right behind me, but didn't think much of it. It wasn't a good presence, more of a demonic one. Despite there being my family in the home awake, I didn't see anyone there, and only the light that illuminated the stairway was on. Everything also had a blue tint to it, and I could see clearly in the dark. No I had to swim through the air to be able to move and went through my door and swam my way downstairs. It's kind of cool. I decided to go up and through the ceiling and then through the roof and explore this new plane of existence. However, as I went through the ceiling, I saw this creature rushing towards the stairs oh, and shit. it stopped as soon as I stopped moving to see it. I could only see the back of it from the right side of it since it was blocked by a wall. But it had yellow skin, pointy, elongated ears, a tail that's medium-sized, oh and it God. appeared to be as tall Ugh. as I was at the time, 5'6". I stared at it for a few seconds, frozen in fear, and before I knew it, I was awake, back in my bed. I looked at my clock, and several minutes had passed by. I don't know what to think of that, but it was an interesting experience. <laughs> So it's kind of like you have a dream that, because it, like it's like you close your eyes, you're basically having a nap, and then you basically come out of your body and like you know, you know what I mean? Because obviously that obviously didn't happen. Like no one's gonna start floating in the air and just go through ceilings and shit. So obviously that's not real. But yeah, astral protection. I I, I never knew what that was to be honest. I I feel stupid now because I feel like I should, but <clears throat> I know now. So <clears throat> let's see what the comments say. I tried to do astral projection just to find out what my ex is doing. You're beating Llama Arts with these constant uploads. Yeah, I mean, like, so I, I, I do love Llama Arts, but, like, Llama Arts barely uploads anymore, and I'm, like, so sad. So, <clears throat> that's kind of depressing. <clears throat> but, I mean, yeah. P pretty good video. Not that uh, realistic, I mean, because <laughs> it's, it's not real. Like, obviously, it's not real. Like, if you just imagine yourself out of your body, that that's real. Well, it's not real, you're just, like, imagining it, but... Like, you know what I mean, right? Like, I'm not... It's not real. You're just kind of, like, thinking it. Thinking that you're going out of your body, but you're not. Like, you're obviously not actually. So, basically, like, the thoughts of this story, though, seeing that random thing, that's kind of... That's obviously kind of kind of creepy. At first, I'm like, is that a cat? Or some kind of dog? Because it looked like a claws, tail, and I was like, is that an animal? And I saw its face, and I was like, that is not a cat or a dog. That is not a cat or a dog. Anyway, pretty good an animation. Good story. Obviously creepy as many of his stories are. Um, <clears throat> and yeah. Uh, make sure you guys stay tuned for... Stay tuned for what? Stay tuned for my N NHL videos that I'm going to do soon. My like pr preview prediction videos, right? <clears throat> oh, here it is. Okay. Yeah, so just make sure you stay tuned for those because those will be coming in the next few days. Today was the last uh, day for uh, the uh, regular season, so... I think there's like two more regular season games right now. It's like 12.30. They're almost done. So once that's done, then that's it. We're just going to wait for the playoffs. And then all the games are going to be set. And all, and all the series are going to be set. So 
I'll start doing those soon, and I'll try to get them up as soon as possible. But yeah, I hope you guys like this video. I'm still on the road to 1K. How many more do I need? Let's take a look real quick. <clears throat> but uh, again, thanks guys for the support. Whoever does, whoever is watching this video, you know what I mean? And follows me and everything. And yeah, so I have 800 and, no, 983 according to this. So I'm like 17 away. So let's try to get myself to 1K. Still on, on the road to 1K. <clears throat> and I cannot wait because it'll be lit to, to see that. So, yeah. Anyway, guys, thanks for watching. Like, comment, subscribe, and share. And yeah. Bye. <laughs>